All right, boys, let's go. You see the text, another absolute meat locker. And to be frank with you, meat boys, we got to get back on track, right? It's two straight meat lock L's that have not gone our way. And our whole ambition was, with these first 100 was to hit 70 of 100, get that 70% mark. And once we lost two meat locks ago, we adjusted the goal to make it 69 of 100, but now it's down to 68. But for sure, we are finishing these first 100 with that 68% mark. And in this one, we think that Jessica Andrade is the one to get this one done because we just don't see a way that Lucky Lauren Murphy at 16 and 5, at nearly 40 years old, is going to have what it takes to take out Bate Azteca in this one. And it's no shame in Laura Murphy, right? This is a woman who has consistently improved. She's very talented. I think she's like the quintessential levels test. She she kind of replaced Jessica I, who mid to uh, late 2010s was uh, kind of the levels test, so to speak. And Laura Murphy, I think, is that new woman in this division. And we just think that in this one, Jessica Andrade is going to have too much power. She's going to be too much of a muscle shark. And she's going to do what she wants to do to Laura Murphy, which is pretty crazy because when Laura Murphy's in there, she's always looking big. She's always looking strong. But Jessica Andrade is just kind of on a different level as far as the strength is concerned. And she's only 29 years old. She is a minus 460 favorite in this one. So there's a decent amount of juice. But we're trying to get back on track and feel that Jessica is the one to do that. We're going to keep it simple. We're throwing down 460. It's going to net an easy 100. And we actually think that she might get the finish in this one because what she did most recently with that submission, essential noogie against a very tough opponent in Amanda Lamos was simply incredible. I mean, it was a meat event slot and she made it look very light work and showed to a lot of people that, hey, I'm the former champ for a reason. I'm only 31 years old and I got a lot of juice left in this tank. So at Flyweight, this is that next notch on her belt. Get her a title shot again. And that'd be a lot of fun to see because for the longest time, right, it's been Valentina just smoking everyone. And she does have a test coming up, Valentina does, in Alexa Grasso. And we know Aaron Blanchfield is waiting around in the whims as well. But Jessica Andrade is there as well. And she's probably going to make the argument in this fight that, hey, I'm skipping the line. I'm taking out all these girls. And uh, give me my next title shot. So... Again, we're rolling with Jessica Andrade. 95% of the, the uh, topology community is as well. They think a KO, TKO is most likely. I'm a little bit surprised that there's only that slight sliver for copper because we actually think that Jessica Andrade might be able to get this one done by submission. And then a decent uh, second majority is the uh, beige decision for Jessica as well. Only 5%, that is her friends and family, is picking Laura Murphy. So seems like everyone's rolling with the Meat Boys. Let us know if you think this is the meat lock to get us back on track. Are we missing this one? Are we missing this one? Are we out of luck and lucky is the one to get this one done? Or uh, you roll with us. Let us know.